Craig Dana here, and I'm on my vlog. You want to see me change out the idler pulley on this old 03 Ford Explorer? Stay tuned. Hey, Dana here, and welcome to my vlog. Well, it's the 11th of March, and Mother, Na Mother Nature has nailed us again. Currently 39 degrees out. And we have, you can see snow. Um, and it's going to be on the Project Ford or Explorer. Um, this is the 03 Ford Explorer. When I was coming home yesterday, I was hearing a weird, weird noise under the hood. And it sounded like something was loose. Well, come to find out, this carrier, the carrier bearing here is shot see it see how it's wiggling so um i actually have the other one off the original motor so we're going to swap this thing out it's a 15 millimeter right here and you're going to need a 3 8 3 8 down there to <clears throat> to rotate your tensioner so you can get the belt off of here so pretty simple i got an offset no, actually, I can use the 15 now. I think right here. That should be enough to do that. <clears throat> 15 millimeter. It was on the end of my hammer here. All right. Okay. Let's see if, let's see if that'll clear the, clear the fan. Yeah. Okay, it's actually... <laughs> that's pretty damn loose. I don't know if I can get my fingers in there. Yep, there we go. I got a swishing noise. It's probably been this way for a little while because something's the noisy under here, and I ain't been able to figure out what it is. There we go. <laughs> mm. go. Alright, sweet. She's worn out. Okay, we're gonna go get it off the other other one here okay here's the old there's the all the parts to the old old motor the engine's still sitting over there uh, my tensioner here if i need it and then here's the pulley and this one sounds really really good so let's get here i can use the impact i think one back on hey Dana here and hey, welcome to my vlog and what you're looking at is the assembly here off of a 4.0 coming off of my 03 Ford Explorer well come to find out I was hearing noises under the hood of course and come to find out it's the actual um, carrier Serpentine carrier pulley that is now shot, and I have the other one that came off the original motor um, back when I can't remember if I put this video was up with that ch engine change or not because <sighs> I think I wasn't going to use it because of the fact that the pulley the <coughs> Timing chain pulley, three through, one through three, is missing. And I thought the minute I got it, because when I got it together, when I started it up, I was hearing that tapping over there, and I looked under the, pulled the, pulled the uh, timing chain cover and found that it was missing. I said, oh, man. And, of course, the uh, three through six, the... Tensioner is on the front, so you can get it. The other side, you have to pull the engine again to change that out. So I said, you know, I had it sitting out at the end of the road for sale for six months. 
and I had a couple of people want it, but they weren't going to give me $1,200 for the vehicle. <laughs> so I said, well, eventually I'll get back to it, and we'll get it back on the road. So that's what I basically did. I said, screw it. I'm going to drive it till that pulley jump, uh, tensioner jumps, or the belt timing chain jumps, and it won't run anymore, and that would be the end of it. And that is exactly what happened to that motor. The timing, the tensioner disappeared, and it jumped it, and I could never start it again. So that's why I changed it out. So anyway, we're back to this. Um, this is the bad one, and I'm swapping this out with this one. All right, so we're back. Let's get this back on, huh? It goes right like that. Um, Got that by hand right now. I'll run and see what I got for a torque. Uh, it's a 15. Also, you're going to need something that's going to go to release your tensioner. And it's a 3 8 um, 3 8 head. And I bought this cool thing at Harbor Freight. Flexes in one, two, three different locations. And it's I got a T handle on the end here. It fits in there. It's perfect length. And it does a good job doing what it needed to do. So you can find that at Harbor Freight. Okay, let's uh that's a 15 socket. Let me see if there's a torque. Okay. <laughs> I was calling that a carrier pulley, but it's actually your idle idle pulley. It says 35 foot pounds. I don't I've only got anything that small uh I haven't got any torque wrench that's uh is gonna torque it that it's gotta torque that low. So that basically just you know as tight as you can get it without over over tightening it. So that's where we're at right there. Okay, as you can see, I was able to get the I can pull the tension back a little bit. Make sure your belt's on there. So this goes belt goes up all the over your alternator, goes down around your tension pulley, down around your crank, and it comes around, comes around the crank. Let's see where I um, comes around the bottom of the crank, comes over the top of your fan, your water pump, and then that whips back around over to your uh, AC compressor, and then comes back up over your power steering pump, back under that idler pulley. All right, we'll drop it back down, drop that back, and we are good. I gotta get the release. Anyway, tool out of there. Come on. <laughs> get in there. Come on. Come on, you're almost there. There we go. Alright, so that paid for itself. It made like 19 or 20, 20 bucks for this thing. See, it'll flex this way. And then the actual head flexes. And then you got a T-handle. So that can be used in all kinds of things. I saw that thing. I says, I can use that someday for something or other. And I've used it a couple of times. So there we go. Got the got that over the top of that, back around there. Yeah. Make sure it's, it needs to be on the idler. Back down around the crank, crank. Comes back around the crank. Comes up around the fan pulley or fan pulley again, like I said. That goes over the fan pulley to the AC compressor, AC compressor up over the top of the power steering. No, actually, yeah. Yeah. Power steering pump. And then back under that idler pulley. And then back up over the alternator. All right, let's fire this up. See how quiet she is now. Go. Very nice. All right. Definitely quieter than it was. That's for sure. All right. You got a whooshing sound. Um, and sometimes I'm starting to hear the alternator doing a doing a whine. So that might be going next, but I got to back up for that. I got to back up for everything because of that other, because of the uh, 
this motor here had everything on it. So I stripped the other one down. Alright, so thanks for watching. If you like, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, definitely share. We'll catch you on the next Dana's Garage under Project Explorer. Come back here, I got exhausted, so.